Dave Clark and Mark Foley. Jack Foley introduced to good effect in Bird is Ollie Moran's partner in midfield, but James Butler replaces James Moran at top of the right. There's a further adjustment in the forward line with Shane O'Neill and Mike Houlihan switching positions. O'Neill is now in the troublesome full forward berth. Clare's goalkeeper this afternoon is sports journalist Christy O'Connor from the newly crowned All-Ireland Club champions. He gets his chance to show that Clare are fortunate in having two really good goalkeepers. The St. Joseph's Dura Bearfield contingent are available once again, and all bar the injured Ollie Baker are summoned to action. Sean McMahon resumes the centre-half back, while James O'Connor, Christie's brother, is in his usual wing-forward berth. David Ford missed last Saturday's narrow win over Antrim, but he's back to reclaim a spot in the full forward line. Well, this is sheer friendship, isn't it? <laughs> it's Clare and Limerick side by side, neighbouring counties and the two county boards very creditably have uh, opted to bring an awful lot of youngsters along this afternoon. Well, the match referee this afternoon is Pat Ahern from Carlo taking charge of this Division 1A match between the best of neighbours and the greatest of rivals. And so as we join the action, Clare are leading by the only point of the game so far, scored from a free by Alan Markham. Gilligan still there, Kerry right alongside him. Back into the centre towards James O'Connor, chance of another score here for Clare, and James has tapped it over the ball. James is first of the day, and it's two points to no score. All of it started in the far corner, once it came across to Jamesy, he had sufficient latitude to pop it over the bar. Daly has uh, gone across to right half back to follow TJ Ryan. Limerick get the free in. Mike Gallagher shaping up like he'll be the one to take it. Just about 30 metres out. And no real trouble for Mike Gallagher. So Limerick's first score. And that has come after 12 minutes. It runs on here towards Niall Gilligan. Getting given a bit of room. Beautifully taken here, David Ford. And over the bar. Good work by David Ford. And it's three points to one. TJ Ryan. Running on towards Barry Foley that time. Back there carrying it over the line, however, is the former minor captain, John Redden. This will be taken by Ollie Moran. Beautiful cut up by Ollie. All the way in there. And Chen O'Neill is spoiled by a wonderful save from Christy O'Connor. That was a terrific piece of goalkeeping. Chen O'Neill was under it. It was dropped from the hands, however, of uh, Brian Lowen. But the goalkeeper did so well. Bit of a stalemate situation. And in the end, it's Liam Doyle who manages to take it up as two players have a little collision. And more than that... T.J. Ryan is the Limerick player involved, and Anthony Daly is the Clare man. And the referee calling them both across. Referee is laying down the law in no uncertain terms. He's calling for the ball as well. This was Ollie Moran once again, cutting this one in delightfully. What's for the goalkeeper here? He made a brilliant save. Referee throws the ball back in there. Mike Houlihan is pulling wildly on that one. Temper is once again rising here. TJ Ryan once again with Anthony Daly, and I have to be careful. The referee having spoken to a couple of players a little while ago. I think the referee now at this stage is patience running thin. Has uh, called aside the clear number seven. There's always so much at stake when the two counties meet. Very much local pride. Michael Houlihan there. Doesn't look uh, the best. It'll be Mike Galligan to take this free. And this to put one between the teams. He's got one already in this match, and now he's uh, got a second. This is what went on just a few moments ago there. Houlihan there was wildly pulling across. And in the end, Anthony Daly, I think, uh, connect connected with him. Here's Brian Geary. 
hoping he can solve the uh, cornerback difficulties that Limerick are going through at the moment in the absence of uh, Declan Nash is out injured so a chance then for Conor Lynch to hit this one in only as far as James O'Connor returning it to Colin and Colin Lynch has put it between the posts for his first point of the afternoon and Clare lead by two once again TJ Ryan trying to dodge his way around James O'Connor that was never going to be easy Ollie Moran cross here to Mike Houlihan here's a chance of a point for Limerick and straight between the post once again from Mike Houlihan very good point indeed for Limerick and now it's four points to three Jack Foley and the family for Clare combining in there Lorcan Hassett and Lorcan Hassett has uh, chopped down on Dave Clark free to Limerick Clark lobbed in around the centre forward position everybody trying to take command John Redden trying to get it out but it's Shane O'Neill and pass towards Mike Gallagher Galligan going for the point from a very acute angle and that's a terrific shot. A wonderful score by Mike Galligan. He's now got three and all, two from freeze, and that one brilliantly put over from play. And they're level at four points apiece. A real scorer in chief has been Mike Galligan down through the years. When in form, he is deadly. Down towards Ronan O'Hara. That's Brian Begley put in trouble. Does well to recover. And Kieran Carey is in to help out the young fullback. Dave Clark with the clearance. It's a much better performance by Limerick this week as they try to shake off the lethargy of Burr seven days ago. Mike Houlihan driving it in! And he's driven it all the way to the back of Christy O'Connor's net. 22 minutes gone. Totally out of the blue. This is driven in by Mike Houlihan, the goalkeeper, I think. Everybody in Clare felt had it covered. He hadn't, and it's dropped into the empty net. Sean McMahon trying to get it away, but needing the assistance of Liam Doyle once again. He does some really great covering. Mark Foley trying to clear it for Limerick. Helped here by Ollie Moran. And Limerick are flying just now, and that's the other one. Ollie Moran from a hand. His first point of the day, and this is more like the real Limerick team as coached by Evan Cregan. Here's Jack Foley, brother of the left half back, powering his way forward. Still Jack Foley, 20 metres out, looking for another one, Shane. Put it over the bar. Good work there by Shane O'Neill. But it was Jack Foley who made it all possible with a thundering run right through the centre and Limerick have a goal and six points well they only got seven scores last week against Offaly and before half time they've got seven here and this was the seventh a point by O'Neill Kieran Carey for the need Dave Clark and he has left it behind to James O'Connor he's got Niall Gilligan just ahead of him a very direct player now Gilligan and a hurley was thrown at him and that is put over the bar. The throw was by Mark Foley, the number seven. And the referee may have a word with him for that. In fact, he's going to have his name quite correctly taken. In the plenary. Getting it towards Gilligan. Good catch by Gilligan. One of the most experienced members of the forwards at this stage. And he's put it over the bar. And it's a point that Clare is uh, required to put just a goal between the teams. Two points now for Niall Gilligan. Doyle. Broken down for Sean McMahon. In over Kieran Carey's head. Dave Clark anticipating. Niall Gilligan hoping. And Gilligan is pushed to the ground. Kieran Carey protests his innocence, but Clare will have the free in. And a chance for just two points between the teams. Gilligan and Carey. And Carey has found it very difficult this afternoon against the leggy Niall Gilligan. James e. O'Connor and that's gone over the bar second point for James e. Colin Lynch 
Oli Moran. Good work by the tall Limerick man. Down towards Shane O'Neill. Well, given the opportunity, he could certainly do a very good job at full forward, every indication of that. That's Frank Lowen. Great clearance by Frank Lowen. And there's a Limerick player down on the ground. 30 minutes gone, first half. Looks to be Shane O'Neill. And he just caught the end of the hurley, Brian Lowen's hurley, accidentally into the face. And that is the end of the first half, where Limerick got an all-important goal after 22 minutes, scored by Mike Coulihan. It gives them a slight edge at half-time. It's 1-6 to 7 points. Well, Eamon Cregan, I think, will be much the happier at half-time, but it's still very, very tight. And there's always a bit of a needle involved in matches nowadays between Limerick and Clare. I suppose it always was thus. Into the centre, towards Ollie Moran once again. Anthony Daly now. And he hops off the Limerick man, and Clare will get themselves a free. Clare's captain, fantastic over the last number of years. Coming across here to challenge was Mike Coulihan, and down went Daly. The chance then presented to Sean McMahon from the 65-metre line to close the gap even more. That's a great point by Sean McMahon, who's had a quite enough match so far today by his standards. So now one between them. Brian Geary coming out to try and dispossess David Ford. David now very much an established senior player. Crossfield towards Alan Markham. Broken down here once again towards Enda Flannery. Big chance for him this afternoon in the absence of Ollie Baker. That's James O'Connor, that's out of the bar, and the sides are level. A third point for James O'Connor, and it's won six to nine points. Great work here by Enda Flannery, spotting the man coming up in the overlap situation. Inevitably, it's James O'Connor, and inevitably, there's a point. Good positioning by Mike Galligan, can't hold it, however. James O'Connor comes back out towards Colin Lynch, steadying himself from about 45 metres out, and that's the point for Lynch. Second point for Colin Lynch. And Clare go in front. They've also got the breeze at their backs, remember. And it was Norkin Hassett who was the provider this time for Colin Lynch, unmarked, but a great shot. Runs on here towards Shane O'Neill. And high up into the air against the breeze. It has the distance and the accuracy, and Eamon Cregan must be pleased with that. His full forward has got a second point. And it's 10 points to 1-6. The other one was a tap over the bar in the first half, but this one he had to work for. He foraged, he came, he collected some 45 metres out, and that's an excellent score. This is John Redden put under pressure here by Barry Foley. Redden coming out with this one. Colin Lynch taking it away initially from Enda Flannery, his colleague. Jack Foley digs in there deep, and the referee has gone down, and it was Mike Coulihan in all of that who knocked him over, and now all hell breaks loose once again here. Tempers have been rising in this match from time to time, from the very start of the game. It's been a hard, tough, physical game. What led to all of that, you know, was Mike Houlihan coming in to try and take possession, and he simply collided with the match referee. Take a look at this once again. There was uh, Pat Hearn, down he went, and then they all went in after that. And really, let's hope that common sense prevails. This is Jack Foley. Getting it as far as TJ Ryan. Ryan setting sail, McMahon in pursuit, and he's put it over the bar. TJ Ryan getting his first point of the match. One-handed by Mike Kula, knocked back again, however, by Anthony Daly. It's Liam Doyle. Colin Lynch looking around to see just who's available. Going for the shot himself is Colin Lynch. And why not with shooting as accurate as that? Great work by Colin Lynch. Three points he scored now. 
So the side's level once again, and uh, the credit this time going to the marvellous Colin Lynch in midfield. Fergie Tui has just come in immediately after that score, and he replaces Lorcan Hassett. Beyond Sean McMahon. A lot of the puck outs have been delivered just in over the head of the centre half back. This time he gets back to uh, take possession. Alan Markham trying to take it away from Steve McDonough. Kieran Carey back in the thick of the action there. Mark Foley trying to pick it up. Instead it's Fergie Tui and shouldered out over the sideline by Stephen McDonough. And they're really getting out of hand completely here. And the mentors are in quickly just to try and bit of, bring a bit of common sense to this. This is really quite ridiculous. Rivalry is one thing, but this is getting out of control completely. Well, the mentors were in very, very quickly, just trying to get uh, calm restored. Passions inflamed. And the referee calls aside Stephen McDonough and also Fergie Tui. Tui's only on the field a couple of minutes. So will the referee be content with a lecture and a booking? And they have both been sent off. It was something quite needless. They both realise it. They'd be both very unhappy with this. It was as the player was moving towards the sideline, Fergie Tui, fresh into the action, shoulder out over it. And then they just really got locked together like this, and the referee felt he had no alternative. It means now that uh, Limerick in particular have two minors from last year in their full back line. And no Stephen McDonough there to give them a bit of inspiration and help. Here's Daly. Passions rising the whole time in this match. And still about 11 minutes remaining. Teams are level, remember. Here's Lowen. His side with 11 points so far against 1-8 for Limerick. And that's Brian Begley. He's had a match to remember. Back out towards Colin Lynch, however. Mike Gallagher putting in the challenge. Trying to beat Colin Lynch. Not an easy thing to do. The crowd urging on the two men. Urging on both teams. Daly. Ollie Moore in there. Catching the ash there of... Sean McMahon, it comes up towards Shane O'Neill in the end, kicking that ball away. This is the uh, intensity, the ferocity at times in this match. This is Liam Doyle. Both sides trying to get that vital point to take them into the lead here. Here's Dave Clark, bounced off the sticks of James O'Connor. Comes back towards the other James, James Moore in the start. The shot by Moore and his head on the of the bar. His first point since coming onto the field, and Limerick lead by a solitary point. He's got support for it if he needs it. Back out to Daly. Claire looking for an equaliser. To the other wing back, Liam Doyle. Closed down by Mike Coolahan. Doyle trying to get an upper room to swing the stick, and that's very good play by Hulahan, pulling his stick onto the other man's stick and making sure to hoop the opponent. That's Mark Foley getting it up, and only as far as Anthony Daly. Will this be the equaliser by Daly? And well! Wonderful play! Daly from Clare Castle, just up the road, has made it 1-9 to 12 points. Well, they always give us a wonderful match. Remember the great game here two years ago. And this match is level. Looking to try and set Limerick on their way to go in front again. And the referee has awarded a free in to Limerick for uh, use of an arm, the referee seems to indicate. The welcoming party from the Limerick full back then is out to uh, inquire about that straight away. But referee Pat O'Hearn is in no doubt Galligan, casually as you like, puts it over the bar. He's got four points this afternoon. Towards David Ford, batted down by Brian Geary, stopped there by Niall Gilligan. Ford has it again. 
Once again, Clare come looking for something from Jamesy O'Connor, and you can always depend upon Jamesy. He levels the match once again. Jamesy O'Connor has scored four this afternoon. Once it was freed out there by David Ford to Jamesy O'Connor, the marking was slack, and he availed of that. So is there to be a winner here in the Gaelic Grounds this afternoon? Frank Lowen towards Barry Murphy, runs beyond everybody. Kieran Carey aware that it hadn't quite the pace to go the whole way. He's put under great pressure by Niall Gilligan. And that's gone for 65, it's the first of the day. In spite of his protests, it's still going to be a 65. Emmett Cregan checking the watch, two minutes to go. Sean McMahon. Will this put Claire ahead? It will. A huge one from Sean McMahon. That's two points for the day for him. And Claire lead. And Eamon looks a little despondent. It's Colin Lynch. Challenged by TJ Ryan. Needing a bit of support. Back towards Daly. Blocked down brilliantly by Mike Gallagher. Mike Coolen with the hand pass in towards Ali Moore and can't take it up on the stick, however. Instead, it is Anthony Daly in the very last minute of the match. That's barring, barring injury time. Here they come again. Markham from Murphy. This must be it. And he's put it in the side netting. Barry Murphy had a glorious chance. He'll never get a better. His side still leads by a point, but they should be leading by a goal and a point. It was there for the taking. It wasn't. We're in injury time. One point between the teams. Clare leading. And that's his own 65 metre line. Will he opt to go for the score here, Mike Coulihan? He's gone and driven it all the way in. It breaks down and Liam Doyle comes out to collect it as he has done so many times in the past that it's all over. And Clare have won a very memorable National League match here in Limerick. A much better performance by Limerick this afternoon. Both sides down to 14. And the full-time score, Clare, 14 points. Limerick, 110. Well, it was far closer than many had expected, but Clare finally getting the better of Limerick. And